The next one up is um, Tim Martin. Oh, there you are, Tim. Uh, Tim has set the B-boy, and I need to explain that in his setting, he has not only used sung text, he has also used scat twice over. Scat meaning the recitation of what it sounds like lots and syllables. But Tim, it seems, had a reason for using scat. He was trying to reflect the mind of the b-boy, a person who is not like other people and doesn't always think in words, but sometimes thinks in strange, disconnected thoughts, almost like the bees for which he cares. Tim is accompanying himself on the uh, baritone ukulele, which looks like a small, insignificant instrument, but is it right? It has six strings, not four. Yeah. It has six strings, and the resulting sound is richer than you might expect. Tim, over to you. Never grieve your bees, your bees will never leave you. And 
Incidentally, Tim has not, as far as I know, written that down yet, though I hope he will. Uh, he brought it to the school entirely in his mind. Tim has a musical memory which I can only envy. Right, uh, any other comments? Just could it be played with any other accompaniment other than that? Well, Tim, do you want to respond to that point? Uh, I don't know, I suppose it could be. Yeah. That seems to fit it so well, it? That's it. I mean, for myself, I cannot imagine any other accompaniment. Any other accompaniment would be simply less effective than the one we heard. I did imagine a, a trumpet or a trombone solo at the end. Mm. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, golly. Trombones are not instruments I associate with bees. <laughs> <laughs> any other comments? 